Let's take a look at how you configure your SAP RPA factory. First, let's assume that you've installed your SAP Intelligent RPA factory tenant. That is, you have created an account and a sub-account in the SAP Cloud Platform in the Cloud Foundry and enabled users and roles here, which are the foundation of your SAP Intelligent RPA tenant. You've downloaded and installed the on-premise components of SAP Intelligent RPA, that is, the Desktop Studio and the Desktop Agent. You've registered your Desktop Agent, which connects your desktop on-premise components to your tenant in the SAP Intelligent RPA factory, and you've declared an agent group, which will enable us to deploy bots downloaded from the SAP Intelligent RPA bot store. Upon opening your factory tenant, you'll notice the tabs at the top of the screen which show how to access your configuration elements, environments, agents, packages, projects, and so forth. The first element that must be created is your agent group. Agents help you organize how a bot can be accessed, either by any user on a defined machine or by a specific user. You can group your agents via two criteria, groups of machines and groups of logins. To set up your agent group, select agents in the factory tenant, then agent group, then new agent group. Provide an agent group name and select whether this will be a machine or a login group and press create. Now, now let's set up the environment. The environment is the entry point of the cloud factory. This is where you define and edit the functional landscapes in which your automation scenario or process is deployed and executed. To create an environment, simply select the environments tab and select new environment. As you can see, the environments serve as a container for your triggers, packages, variables, and agents, which we will discuss next. Before an environment can be used, however, it must contain at least one agent, which can be added simply by selecting the Agents tab and clicking Add Agent. You can add up to 100 agent groups to an environment. A package is simply another word for a bot or a predefined SAP Intelligent RPA scenario. So this will be added to the environment first. The package is generally either imported from a bot store or generated from the design studio. Packages imported from the bot store are assigned to the environment when they're downloaded. Packages built in the design studio are exported to a zip file and imported into your environment by the import button. Many packages may require one or more environment variables. Predefined content from the SAP bot store will detail these variables in the test script. Custom bots should also include documentation of the required variables. Variables can be added to the environment by selecting the environment from the factory tenant, variables in the left-hand browse bar, and then add variable. It's critical that the variable name matches exactly the structure laid out in the package documentation, including any special characters, case, and so forth. Next, you'll need a way to execute the bot. SAP Intelligent RPA bots are executed by means of triggers. Bots can be executed in either an attended or an unattended mode. In an unattended mode, the user must manually trigger the execution of the bot. However, unattended bots can be triggered by events or by conditions that are periodically or continuously monitored to determine if the bot needs to be run via an API. The design of the bot will dictate whether the bot can be run in an attended mode, an unattended scheduled mode, or executed by an external application by API. This will be identified in the documentation for the bot. Once you've configured the environment, including the agent groups, agents, packages, variables, and triggers, you will be ready to test the bot according to the instructions in the test script. That's it you've configured your SAP Intelligent RPA environment.